A new campaign now underway to improve quality of life issues here in New York City. Cops focusing especially on stopping vendors from ripping off tourists who come here during the fall season. The first target, pedicab drivers. Cops want to make sure they're not ripping people off. With the cops tonight on this ambitious program, here's Iowa News reporter Josh Eidegger. You can spot a tourist from a mile away in the city. Ripe, juicy targets for hucksters looking to make a quick buck. They're ripping off tourists that are coming into the city. They're taking advantage of them, and we have to stop that. So tonight, cops fanned out through some of the densest tourist spots in the world. You guys are going after these quality of life issues. From his COVID quarantine, the mayor today addressed a multi-agency task force called Operation Front Door. Dozens of city employees, from police to sanitation, addressing quality of life concerns in places like Times Square. Tourism is a major economic engine, and when you look at these various pedicabs, of some of the other actions that we're seeing just takes away from the quality of life of our city. And you know it and I know it. And it didn't take long for police to find problems to solve. They impounded nearly two dozen pedicabs for a variety of code violations. NYPD Deputy Commissioner Kaz Daughtry says their operators do little but gouge tourists, then harass them when they can't pay. Look on the side of the pedicab, it says $8.99 per minute. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine? What ride are you going on for $8.99 per minute, Josh? Police also targeted illegal street vendors, confiscating cheap knockoffs that go for hundreds of dollars on the street. New York sees 63 million tourists a year. That unscrupulous street hawkers would be taking advantage of them is nothing new. But with the holidays not far away, the city says it's now taking action, cleaning up its front door and rolling out a welcome mat to the world. In Midtown, Josh Heinecker, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.